taking a, from a bound volume of 1972, it's a watchtower, page 197, we find this organization declares themselves to be a prophet of God who is going to help us, warn us of dangers, and is going to declare things to come. On the other column of this article, it says, this prophet is not one man, it is a body of men and women. It was known as International Bible Students, and today they are known as Jehovah's Christian Witnesses. It goes on to say that this prophet group is going to be commissioned. And of course, God is the one that does the commissioning. And it's easy to say that this group acts as a prophet of God. It's another thing to prove it. And this Watchtower article tells us that there is a way that we can prove that this group is really the true prophet of God. The way to prove it is to review the record. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to review the record of this prophet, this organization that claims to be a prophet. There are many times that this group has declared Armageddon to happen. We'll pick three or so of the more interesting ones. I'm reading from a book called Millions Now Living Will Never Die. This was put out in 1920 by the Watchtower. And on pages 88 through 90, the Watchtower says that we may confidently expect that 1925 will mark the return of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the faithful prophets of old, particularly those named by the Apostle in Hebrews chapter 11, to the condition of human perfection. So, here we have in 1920 a organization, the Watchtower, claiming that the Old Testament prophets or princes, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Daniel, and so on, were going to be back on earth. And of course, uh, they taught that Armageddon was going to happen um, about this time. 1925 is the exact time that they predicted. Well, when Armageddon, or excuse me, when uh, prophets didn't show up in 1925, uh, the Watchtower said, well, uh, we do know that for sure they are going to be here, and so uh, they are going to have to have a place to live. And so in 1929, the Watchtower built a house for the prophets in San Diego, California, at 4440 Bryburn Avenue in the Kensington Heights area of San Diego. Here is a picture of this house that they built for the princes that were coming, supposed to come back in 1925. They built the house in 1929, 1930, in the winter of those two years. The house was known as Beth Serene. House of Princes. I'm taking this from a Watchtower publication called The Messenger. It's a report of convention. And this is for the year 1931. So the house had already been built and um, we have many many uh, pictures of this house in here and it talks about why the house was built. Here's uh, Beth Serene, much talked about house in San Diego, the house of the princes. When the princes didn't show up as they were supposed to, Judge Rutherford, the second president of the Watchtower Society, uh, moved into the house. It became a summer residence for him. Well, these uh, princes never did show up. So that takes care of uh, 
million Saladin will never die. So now we come to the um, last prophecy that we're going to look at, which was given by the Watchtower in 1989. I have here a January 1st, 1989 issue of the Watchtower. And this is what we refer to as the single issue. This came out, um, of course, given to us by the Watchtower, or given to Jehovah's Witnesses, and they're supposed to study this particular um, Watchtower. And then at the end of the year, the Watchtower takes all of their single issues and they bind them up together in the bound volume, which contains 24 issues of the Watchtower for that particular year. year. So we're looking at the single issue of the Watchtower of January 1st, 1989. And I'm turning to page 12 and I'm going to read three sentences here. This is coming from the Faithful and Discreet Slave Class, coming from the Watchtower, God's prophet, God's chosen prophet. The Watchtower says that Paul, the Apostle Paul, was spearheading the Christian missionary activity. He was also laying a foundation for a work that would be completed in our 20th century. So, the... Christian missionary work that Paul started in the first century was going to be completed in our 20th century. Well, what's the last date in the 20th century? December, how many days in December? 31? December 31 uh, at midnight of 1999 would be the end of the 20th century. And of course it would begin the 21st century. So here is a prophecy that the missionary activity is going to be completed by the end of 1999. And we know that all Jehovah's Witnesses believe that when the work is completed, then Armageddon comes, and then of course after that the Paradise Earth is restored. Well, the interesting thing about this issue is that when the Watchtower brought out their bound volume, which is, of course, all the Watchtowers for that year bound together, here is what they had to say about that very subject that we were talking about. In exactly the same place that we read from the single issue, this one says that the Apostle Paul was spearheading the Christian missionary activity. So far we're okay. But then they go on to say, he was also laying a foundation for a work that would be completed in our day. So they've changed the words. The single issue said it would be completed in our 19th uh, or 20th century. This one says it would be completed in our day. In other words, the Watchtower uh, made a prediction and uh, when they saw that the prediction was not going to come to pass, they changed the words in order to get out of, out of the mess that they were in. According to Deuteronomy 18, we are to not be afraid of a false prophet. 